left us no choice but to protest. Respect the rights of the construction. We will never stop. Within the Congress period, we have witnessed attacks on basic human and trade union rights even in developed countries. Of particular interest is Australia where a neoliberal government is in power. We are very alarmed of the attacks of the current government on basic trade union rights. We are a global The ABCC uh, takes away civil rights from construction workers that, that every Australian ought to enjoy. We raise the issue of the workers. Stop the war workers! More women on site! BWI is 12 million members around the world. We are present in 140 countries. The construction unions will always be there. We'll always help exploited workers get their money. BWI affiliates across the Asia-Pacific region are some of the most insecure and vulnerable workers in today's global economy, in which hyper-globalization has generated a global inequality crisis. Leadership is not a matter of muscle, it is a matter of mind. The first union in New Zealand was at the center of the movement that has opposed the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement. It has an investor and state dispute mechanism that will allow multinationals to undermine government policies that are pro-workers and pro-people. Free trade agreements, privatization and deregulation have created the crisis of poverty wages, precarious and temporary work, exploitative labor migration, unsafe working conditions, and the total dehumanization of workers. These conditions have a corrosive effect on democracy and can be seen all over the region. Ang matinding problema na kinakaharap namin dito, ito yung kontraktualisasyon. Malaki ang epekto nito dahil ang, ang kabuhayan nila, ang trabaho nila, maging ang kanilang ipapakain sa pamilya, mawawala ng tuluyan. SDI in victory! Organized workers are the bulwark against this crisis by fighting for a democratic workplace and taking on broader issues of social and environmental justice. The union movement is fighting back. In South Korea, the Korean Federation of Construction Industry Trade Unions was at the forefront of the fight against labor reforms, a struggle which developed into a nationwide movement that overthrew the corrupt part government. KFCITU has also vigorously organized workers on the Pyeongchang 2018 construction projects, winning lost wages and demanding justice for worker fatalities. In Australia, the Construction, Forestry, Mining and Energy Union and Electrical Trades Union are fighting back against a corrupt regulator designed to attack their unions and their workers' rights. Both are now fighting the use of loopholes to drive down wages, including in the iconic hashtag CUB55 campaign. BWI's affiliates in India took place in the largest strike in the world history in September 2016, involving some 180 million workers pushing a 12-point charter of demands including minimum wage hikes, an end to a precarious work and universal social security. The Pakistan Federation of Building and Wood Workers have organized workers on Chinese-built infrastructures despite attacks on trade unionists, military intervention, and denial of the right to bargain collectively. The Building and Wood Workers Trade Union of Cambodia lobbied against the use of asbestos is now fighting the unjust, new trade union law and attacks on democracy. In the Philippines, BWI affiliates have fought to hold President Duterte to his promise to end contractualization. These are just a handful of examples of BWI's unions 
fighting for workers' rights and to defend democracy. In doing so, they are improving workers' lives and shaping the kind of society that will prepare us for tomorrow's challenges. Power to the people!